Hello, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios out there. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is for Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and Scorpio Rising. Also, if you have a Venus or Mars in Scorpio, you may want to listen to this reading as it relates to your love life. All right, guys. Thank you so much for all your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I certainly do appreciate it. For those of you that would like access to the extended reading for January and February or to purchase a personal consultation with me, simply go to my website. The link will be below and you will see everything that I have to offer there. Okay, you will have access to all of the extended readings for all signs for a low monthly fee and you can cancel at any time you like. Thanks so much for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. If you do subscribe, please make sure that you click on the notification bell so that you will be immediately notified when I post my videos. All right, guys, I'm using two different decks, one for January and one for February. I am currently shuffling your cards and I am asking for all of the wonderful energy from universe, from source, to come through the filter of love in order to give you guys an accurate reading that will apply to you however those energies apply to you. Good, bad, right, wrong, indifferent. This information is being sent to you so that you can be aware of what you will or may be dealing with in the month of January. All right, so I'm gonna cut the deck. So let's see, what is the first card for the beautiful Scorpios out there? General energy is two of wands. What is your work life and financial life? You do have the High Priestess. What is your emotional life and love life? The Four of Cups. And what is your uh, health and your well-being? You do have the Queen of Pentacles. All right, guys, so I'm just going to do, <clears throat> basically, this is just a, a very general reading. Now, remember, these are always going to be general readings uh, that are posted on YouTube, so it may apply to you, it may not apply to you. All right, but when I do that general energy reading, I will follow up with specific downloads and those specific downloads may be for one of you or they may be for a thousand of you, but we will certainly see what's coming up here. <clears throat> so for the general energy for you guys, I do see with the two of wands that you're looking out, you're trying to figure out, someone in this dynamic is trying to figure out how to move forward in a situation. Perhaps for somebody out there, someone is looking back into their past, they're looking back in their past saying, you know what, I was dealing with a lot of secrets in my life, I was dealing with a lot of psychic energy in my life, my intuition has been you know, pinging me, my intuition has been talking to me, and I've not been listening to my intuition, okay? Someone in this dynamic has not been listening to their intuition, or perhaps, um, they were looking at something here that their concern was stability, their concern was predictability, their concern was money, their concern was a level of trying to create some sort of financial <clears throat> control is what I'm hearing, okay? So what's happening now for some Scorpios out there is that there's this energy where perhaps someone in this dynamic is turning their back on the secrets, they're turning their back on ignoring, <coughs> excuse me, my goodness, guys, some of you might need to speak, okay, or maybe somebody around you, you're like, you're asking yourself, when is this person going to talk to me, when is this person going to reach out to me? Um, I miss them is what I'm hearing for some of you. You miss somebody or somebody misses you. But as far as the general energy goes is that a choice needed to be made, but there was a there was something regarding a secret. Um, this secret could have something to do with somebody whose name begins with the letters B or J or somebody whose last name begins with the letters B or J. But this is definitely coming up here. I am definitely sensing for a lot of the uh, Scorpios out there. This information regarding this person or this situation is gonna be coming out after the new moon in January. So please be aware of that as well. But someone in this dynamic has said enough is enough. I have been making decisions based off of money, based off of power and control, 
and based off of manipulating energies and or situations through coldness and um, non-emotion. And I am ready to say, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be part of this energy anymore. So for wh what's happening here, someone is going back to their past and someone is saying, I need to go back. I need to turn my back on this manipulative and coercive energy and I need to move forward. I need, it's almost like back to the future. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. It's almost like back to the future. So it's like you need to go back in order to correct something so that the future is more abundant. And this is what I'm seeing here. All right, let's get into the actual um, uh, sections of the reading. And remember, this can apply in any area. This can be in love. This can be in business. This can be in family life. This can be in spiritual life. It can be anything like that. So your general energy is the two of wands. So you're turning your back on somebody or somebody's turning their back on you. Doesn't mean that they don't support you and it doesn't mean that you don't support them. It's just that your sights are set on a different goal right now and there's nothing wrong with that. Eventually, you will have to acknowledge the person that has been there for you, that has supported you and everything else. But something is going on here where perhaps for some of you Scorpios out there, you might be thinking of traveling, you might be thinking about expanding your reach out into the world. This could certainly be networking and this could be, um, you know, actual travel. Okay, you might be thinking about going into another area of the world. You might be traveling to another area of the world. Some of you may have not told anybody about this. Okay, uh, somebody's asking you what you're doing in the month of January and you're like, oh, you know, I'm just, I'm just kind of hanging out. You know, I'm not really doing anything. But really you have this trip planned or you have this big adventure planned or you have this partnership that you wanna build, but you really don't want anybody to know about it for whatever reason. So this could certainly be coming up here. So what's going on in your work life and financial life? You do have the high priestess. This energy is that there is something going on underneath the surface that perhaps you don't know about. This could be a partnership, a merger, something like that. But there is a need to understand and get through the black and the white of a situation. So what this means is if there is confusion or if people are acting strange, you need to get to the truth of the situation. And honestly, Scorpio, who better to get to the truth of a situation than you? All right, because you dig, you investigate, you look at it and you're like, no, I want the answer. I want to know where these finances are going. I want to know how this time is being utilized. I want to know that I'm getting a return on my investment, whether that be with employees, whether that be with bosses, whatever it is. There's something going on here where someone's not telling you the whole story or you're not telling them the whole story, but it's definitely coming up here, so please be aware of that. A Pisces and or an Aquarian person may be of great significance to you as well regarding your finances as it relates to the month of January. So what about your emotional life and love life? You have the Four of Cups. As it relates to the Four of Cups, for some of you Scorpios out there, there was a gift there was something that came from the heavens themselves, right? And you ignored it. And perhaps, you know, there was some type of energy here where um, you didn't know the difference or someone around you didn't know the difference. Perhaps you were approaching them and they were ignoring you or, you know, they were approaching you and you were ignoring them. Okay, because you were involved with other things. You were, you were involved in trying to make sense of these secrets and this past energy and trying to figure out where you stand in a situation. And it was very overwhelming. So for some of you out there, there's this overwhelming energy in the month of January relative to some sort of secret and stability, okay, that you're trying to figure out what direction should I take? Where should I go left or should I go right? Okay, just go within, okay? And ask yourself, ask your intuition, ask your higher self what direction I should go or what direction is the best direction for me. You know the best. Don't listen to the peanut gallery. Do what you feel is best because you know, you know what's best for you, okay? But for right now, for some of you Scorpios out there, you could have a lot of um, 
a lot of things that you're dealing with right now, these could be people, these could be um, people you're dating, these could be people that you're interested in or whatever, or this could even be family or work or whatever, but someone is perhaps trying to get your attention or you could try and get somebody else's attention, but they're just completely consumed by other things that are going on in their life right now. So please be aware of that. Perhaps, what I would say, Scorpios, um, again, this may apply to you or this may apply to someone around you or the other person you're dealing with, but what's going on here is there is a gift from universe. There's a gift from spirit, the angels, okay, that are giving you this opportunity to create this really massive abundance in your life. But for some reason, someone is ignoring this. Someone is not paying attention to this. And this could be a lost opportunity. Some of you are sulking because <clears throat> you lost an opportunity with someone in your life. Um, someone could be sulking because they lost an opportunity with you. Okay, that could be happening here as well. Um, someone is very stubborn. Um, they feel like someone is keeping a secret from them. So they don't want to engage. Honestly, if you feel or if someone around you feels like there's being a secret kept from you or someone else, do what you do best, Scorpio, and ask the question. Confront them. Say, hey, this is what I heard. This is what um, I'm sensing. I'm sensing that something's not right. I'm sensing that something's a little bit off in our relationship. It could be work. It could be love. And I really want to get to the bottom of this. Is there is there something going on that you need to tell me about? Um, so be aware of that. All right, Scorpios, because that energy is coming up. For your health and your well-being, you do have the Queen of Pentacles. So there is an investment in your health, is what's going on here. A Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo. Maybe of great significance to some of you in your life. This could be a, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that is putting money towards their health. <clears throat> Gosh, guys, I am just literally clearing my throat constantly. So I just feel... For a lot of Scorpios out there where you generally would confront a situation and ask questions, it's almost like you're not asking questions. It's like you're keeping to yourself because maybe you were hurt in the past or maybe maybe you asked a question and it caused all sorts of drama. My question to you is why would you, why would you um, like abandon Okay, your, your core self in order to keep the peace. All right, Scorpios, you're just, you're not like that. What you do is you get to the bottom of a situation and that's why you're, you're strong. That's why, that's your strength. So don't abandon what it is that you're good at in order to keep the peace. You need an answer regarding something going on here in the month of January and you're going to get it but it's going to take you going within in order to ask the question in a diplomatic manner and not in an aggressive manner, okay? But there could be a Taurus, uh, Virgo, or Capricorn that is of great significance to you in your life. Um, finances are of great significance in your life right now as well. Uh, for some Scorpios out there, there's something regarding someone is asking you to help them financially or someone is asking you, <clears throat> gosh, Someone is asking you to help them financially and you're just kind of like not answering their questions. You're, um, you don't even know how to take it because you're like, oh my gosh, I gave you all of this money or I gave you all of this time. I gave you all of this effort. When is this going to end? I give you an inch and you want a yard. You want a mile. And I'm beginning to think that I'm being a little bit hard done by here. So you're closing down is what I'm sensing for some of you. Um, some of you Scorpios out there. Let me see if I'm getting any specific downloads relative to this energy in January. Some Scorpios out there are being tempted. You are absolutely being tempted regarding a situation. Um, make sure that you have the facts, okay? Someone is trying to take advantage of you or you could try and be you could uh, be taking advantage of somebody else. But I feel like they're trying to take advantage of you. It's kind of like someone's coming in saying, come on, you know, you want it. You know, you want it. Like somebody's trying to coerce 
something out of you or someone's trying to coerce you into their way of thinking. So please be aware of that as well. So what else am I picking up here? For some of you Scorpios, whether you're the child with the parent or whether you're the parent with the child, <clears throat> you are ignoring them for some reason. Maybe they did something that was wrong that you don't agree with and you're giving them the silent treatment. Somebody here is getting the silent treatment. All right, so be aware of that as well. That could certainly be coming up. I just heard for some of you out there, and I don't know how this is going to apply because this doesn't, it's not even showing up in the cards, but some of you are gaining weight. So you want to be able to get your body back moving again um, as well. You feel like you're slower, you feel sluggish, and you, you, you want to be able to be a little bit more limber, and you want to be able to be a little bit more spritey. And for some reason, it's just like, you're just, you're finding comfort in food for some of you Scorpios out there. So just be aware of this. Now, for your general energy for the month of February, you have the Joker card or you have the wild card is what I like to call it. So that is very, very interesting. This is a very faded card. And this card is all about you can make your February however you want to make it. You just need to set your intention and be very consistent with those intentions. So what's going on for work life and financial life? You have, uh, looks like abundance, is that it? You have abundance, the three of cups. What do we have going on for your, oh, I just heard for some of you, um, your boss has asked, to, asked you to keep a secret and you've kept that secret, you've shown your loyalty and because you've shown some of you Scorpios are dropping the ball because I literally just dropped like, I don't know how many cards here. So let's see. Okay, let's get back to this and shuffle again. But you've kept this secret and now you're getting a raise or you're getting a bonus because you were able to show loyalty or you were able to, um, you know, work under a set of circumstances that may have not been a set of circumstances that you wanted to work under, but you are now absolutely getting rewarded for that for whatever reason. And others of you, um, you're getting a loan, you're getting a grant, you're getting money in some way, shape, or form. And this could be through a network or this could be through a contact as well. So please be aware of that. So what's going on for emotional life? And I'm sorry. Yes, emotional life and love life for Scorpios. You have the two of discs. And what is going on for your health and your well-being? You have the queen of pentacles. Wow. Okay. Or the princess of discs is what I should say. All right, guys. So there's definitely a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo person significant in your life relative to your health and well-being. You have the queen of pentacles in your health and well-being for January, and then you have the princess of discs in your health and well-being for February. So there is consistency from January into February relative to that energy. Um, let's see what we've got going on here. You might be working out with a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. A Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo may need money in order to um, embark on some sort of procedure or there could be something going on here where you're getting a really good deal relative to your health and your well-being. This could even be health insurance. Maybe your health insurance is getting a little bit more affordable. Or for some of you out there, you may have to pay more for health insurance. So please be aware of that as well. But first of all, let's just let's go in with this general energy here. There is abundance. There's a level of networking. There's a level of being with friends at the present time. But there's a choice that needs to be made regarding the type of friends that you hang out with, regarding the type of people that you hang out with, uh, regarding, you know, self-sabotage as well. So there's some sort of self-sabotage 
uh, relative to the friends and the networks that you've got in your life. And this may be uh, related to, to money. So I'm sensing for a lot of you um, Scorpios out there for the month of February that you're finding out that someone that you hung out with or someone that's hanging out with you is only hanging out with you because of the money, is only with you because of the money, okay? Uh, be aware of that. And for some of you out there, you might be hanging out with someone because of the money. And it's like you don't even agree with their philosophy. You don't agree with their ideology, but you're still with them because of the money. Or they're with you because of the money. <clears throat> I'm also picking up that there is a sacrifice that needs to be had in the month of February. You've got to give something up in order to get something else. This is certainly coming up here. You want to keep something in your life separate or someone in your life wants to keep something separate. Like this is your friend group and this is your work group and you're trying to keep these people separate. And for some of you, you're trying to integrate them through networking and through introducing them to your friends. But that's coming up here. So overall, as it relates to emotional life and love life, there is a choice that needs to be made. Someone is a little bit embarrassed by something that happened in their love life or in their emotional life. They may have made a choice um, to go one direction as opposed to the other. And what happened here is whatever direction they chose was perhaps the wrong direction. Okay, now they're kind of going back and they're saying, how can I bring this abundance back in my life? How can I bring this person back into my life that I ignored, that I that I didn't give the time of day to? How can I reignite that spark? How am I going to do that? I feel embarrassed that I chose someone in my life just because of looks or just because of status or just because of this. And then I find out they're doing drugs. I find out that they're completely neurotic. I find out that they're not stable at all. Yes, they have a lot of money, but they're controlling, narcissistic, you know, a pain in my side. And now I realize that this person from my past that I was um, talking to, and it could just be a friend. I'm, and I'm sensing for some Scorpios out there, this is a friend. There was a there was a, a definitely a chemistry and there may have been intimacy, but this was a friend, okay? This was not like an, a full-blown, you know, like sexual relationship. This was a friend and it was, it was moving. It was moving into a more stabilized and committed type of energy, but out of the blue, something happened and you were like, no, I'm not going that direction. They're giving me everything I want. They're giving me love. They're giving me happiness. They're giving me stability. You know, maybe they were a little bit, over the top, but they were very, very consistent and they were very, very loving. And then I went and I chose someone who was not only involved with somebody else, but I chose someone who only wanted to be with me because of my money or because of my stability or because of the fact that I have contacts or I have networks that have a lot of money. And what's happening here is you're kind of going back and you're saying, I shouldn't have made that decision. I lost the best thing that ever happened to me. I lost an opportunity to create and build a bond with somebody that I should have built that bond with. And then I went back to somebody and I'm sensing for some of you, this was someone that you actually had a relationship with. This could be an ex-husband, an ex-wife. -ex this could be an ex-lover, whatever it is, this, this Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. You went back to them and realized that... <laughs> This wasn't about love. This is about control. And this was about making you a slave or, you know, you making them a slave. I mean, this is what's going on here. Now, this could also be somebody absolutely new and you realize, okay, they're a narcissist. They're, they just want me for the power or they just want me for the money or they just want my contacts or whatever. So you chose this person. But here in the month of February, you're realizing I need to backtrack. I need to go back to the future. That's, that is what I'm going to name this particular reading, Back to the Future. You've got to go back to the past and you've got to re revision in your mind what happened and listen to those conversations and in your mind change your reaction to that situation so that you can change the energy that is happening in your present. Okay, this is what I'm sensing here. 
but a choice does have to be made in the month of February and it could be related to health, well-being, uh, finances, absolutely, and something about networks. But remember, you have the power in February. Whatever you think, you absolutely will see manifest in front of you. All right, guys, please consider joining me for uh, another uh, couple readings through your extended reading as well as your love reading for uh, your specific love reading for the months of January and February by purchasing a subscription to my website. I wish you the best, much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.